Hello, it's Rachel Iris here. I'm going to be telling you about the energies that I'm feeling at the moment, about the global awakening, about the climate, about how I feel about everything, but also about what I'm intuitively feeling in the messages that I'm being given, that I'm learning from, observing in my life, about the experiences that I'm having, about the things that I'm reading, about the everyday experience that I've been studying for over a decade and so I thought it was really important it's not even just really important it's extremely important it's the thing to be in life at the moment and it is the way you are being and the way you are living um you know I say we you I mean we um the way we are and it's like our vision for this future what is it what is the vision for this future and you can see across the globe on how you can see the fires in America you can see the floods in Europe you can see um well across the world and um so that that's just from planetary forces kind of view the beginning of what is going to occur and so um from it's going to be quite rocky art rocky in um the things that are going to occur, things that are going to be said, and the information that you are going to receive, um, in the between now and the whole of next year as well, and the year after. But next year is is you know we're we're in the awakening, okay. And for for who, if you know what it, that may not mean anything to some people what does awakening mean? Well, for me, it means the rising of consciousness on this earth, as the earth has a consciousness, as do we, as do every single living thing. And in in order for us to um, lead this earth um, with harmony and not in chaos, um, we need to become awakened. So that means to see life differently in terms of a greater understanding in so you can reach um limitless p- potentials in your human form um so that's what i would say just on the top of my head how i would describe it so it's raising that consciousness within oneself helps raise the consciousness of the earth and so but what we see around us at the moment is a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of fighting, a lot of polarization, a lot of different sides, a lot of anger, a lot of stress, you know, and you could be living your life and you might not see any of this. It depends where you are in the world and America is a place which is hitting hard on. And so America will have a huge effect on the rest of the world in the up and coming months. And so this is something that you know, it's really good to be awakened to, it's good to be prepared for in every way that you can, you know, about the gas and electric rising, <clears throat> we can get shaken in so many areas of life at the moment, and then again with our own personal lives, and with um, our own relationships, and with communication, I think is a big energy that um, I'm feeling at the moment, and that's for another video, but for this one, I want to explain to you how everyone's actions are all in aid of an awakening for others, and for ourselves, for oneself, okay, so um, we can see these polarizations, we can see different sides, we can see how you got the vaccinated, the unvaccinated, and the attack on that, Hopefully I'm not going to be censored for just saying that because it's really volatile, like free speech is out the window. Um, but <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not angry. Um, but yeah, it's just, I just hope that this video can just like last. Anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a bit of a throat thing going on. Yeah, so what I'm saying is each behaviour of a person is necessary for our awakening, so for our own awakening and for the Earth's awakening because we can see both sides. Um, They each have their own viewpoint, they each have their own beliefs and their beliefs are so strong and so powerful um, that it it becomes a polarisation. So um, it's against one another. So 
you know, everyone's screaming on one side, it's this view, everyone's screaming on the other side, it's this view. Well, how does that help anything? You can scream and shout as much as you want, <laughs> but at the end of the day, that's not going to get anyone anywhere. And so what we need to do is just come to the centre, as I always say, and realign and recenter. Um, whenever you feel knocked around, whenever you feel insecure, whenever you feel um, you're having these spikes of reactions for anything, for the different sides and the things that you don't support or you don't believe, you know, we need to come back to the centre because when you get angry, when you have an emotional reaction, that becomes a person that you are and that is negative, right? That is not a positive. I hope you can agree with me on that because, um, what we're showing then in that anger and in that emotional reaction is just the same as the other side because that's anger and an emotional reaction. And so those combined energies are the global energies on the earth. So those combined consciousness is the earth's consciousness is what it's going to feel. So it's all going to be negative. So what you feel on the earth for me, that's why you've got all of this stuff happening on the earth. Like, it's why you've got these natural disasters occurring. Because the consciousness is low because our consciousness is low. And there are people out there who are trying to give peace and love to every single person on this earth. And they give and they give and they give every day of, our, of their lives. And they may not, like, be there to see. And you may not know that, but they give their lives to help raise the consciousness of the, this earth because they want to give to the planet. They want to give to humanity and they want us to awaken so we can see the things that we are not seeing now. And the reason why we're not seeing them is because we take it as a personal attack and we, you know, that which leads to a personal reaction, which leads to, you know, we keep going down that that um, patterns and cycles of the negativity and the negative thinking. And then we'll just keep repeating it. If you've noticed in your life that maybe you've got a repeated negative cycle that keeps happening, it's there and it will keep repeating in your life until you awaken to it. So this polarization will keep happening until we go, hang on, <laughs> this is not right. We need to make our enemies into guidance for our own awakening. So when we can see people scream and shout, we need to bring peace to that. We need to bring love to that. We need to bring harmony to that. And I may sound like airy-fairy, yeah, we bring peace and love when there's all this going on. But think about it. Like if you're giving an argument, if you're giving, how is that anger if how is that going to help enhance the world that you want to live in so think about it what type of world do you want to live in i'm sure for all of us that must be peace harmony love compassion kindness where we're all together where we're all as one where we all create our own incredible skills that we have that we love and we enjoy our life we enjoy what we work we enjoy giving to others we enjoy helping others and um a life where we're not constantly fed by distraction greed and power and money and things like that which are sending us off the rails because I don't have money or I'm not, I have to, I have to do this because they're telling me so. Or I have to be like this because they're tell there are other options here and there are different possibilities for you in your own life. And the only thing that's going to get us through that is belief, is belief that we can and knowing that it's already happened. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, so if we use our enemies into our guidance for our own awakening, meaning forgiving and give nothing but love as we need to spread and teach peace, not polarization. So you see where I'm coming from. It's this, what we're teaching and what we're spreading is who we are as a person. So if we become love, um, which basically means we need to work on our inner self. And as soon as we work on our inner self, then that future of peace and harmony um, will be present because that's what we're working on, peace and harmony within ourselves, which means peace and harmony in the world, which means um, the darkness can't last or succeed if we choose love, as love and faith will breathe the world into peace.
we need to bring all people into our hearts and we need to understand on a greater level that everyone's here on their own journey and that whatever anybody else is doing cannot affect you within your own self if you do not allow it to, okay? So that peace in your heart and peace to others regardless of who the others are or what they do to you shows nothing but your strength. Putting down your sword shows strength. It's easy to react. It's easy to hate. But that, what does that show? You know, that shows weakness, right? Like we have to become what we wish to see in this world. Be love, be peace. Live in faith that there is more to life than what you see and you will begin to see incredible transformations in the life that you're living now and the pain will disappear. The fear won't be, as in, won't be there and it won't be important anymore as you start to see the truth. So if there's fear all around you, surrounding you, pushing you to one side, pulling you to another side, threatening you, saying you can't go here, you can't do this if you don't do as I tell you, you know, or if you start to see the weather going crazy, if you start to see money rising and you're worried about your future financially, you know, things are about to happen in this world that will will help you with these worries and you have to trust the divine, you have to trust within your own self that whatever you see, if you see worry, then that'll be worry that is in your life, right? You will you will see worry because you attract it. And this is science. I've told you many of times probably. <laughs> but like um, you've got your own field, you know, your own energy field. This energy field is whatever we think we attract. And so like if you think worry, if you think pain, if you think suffering, if you think loss, if you think a negativity, then all of those thoughts will manifest physically in front of you. And so we go on an inner work, in the meditations, in our inner being, on our daily practice, on our mindful practice throughout every present moment. Um, We're always in the present moment, but have an awareness of the present moment of what it is you're actually thinking and turn it around, turn it to love, turn it to a positive, turn it to the good in the world, what you do see in the world. And doing these practices every day, you'll be surprised the transformation you see, not only in your life, but the life around you and the world around you because you'll start to see things differently. Your inner being will defeat the bad and the negative. Just choose to respond and to become peace, love and harmony. Then that's what you will see. I really hope that this message has helped you in some way and that, you know, the whole point to summarise is to stay within the peace and harmony, practice peace and harmony within yourself, practice the love state, practice, um, you know, being love, giving love, practice your whole being, your whole energy field is love, is peace, is harmony. And then that's what you'll see in the world and you'll see in your own life and you'll you'll start to, to notice how you start to attract really good and positive things, ideas, happenings, changes, um, random things you could never even imagine because you can't imagine what the, the universe has got to give to you because it's just so incredible. It's beyond our imagination and they won't give it to you in a way which you'll know. It'll just really come out of the blue. And this is how I'm living through my life at the moment. And well, I'm like living great at the moment because um, I know this information and so nothing can steer, steer me away in a different in a different path, in a different way. And I've been, you know, I've been through the trials and tribulations to get to this point. And so it's not all airy-fairy, it's not all easy, but you can get there. And this is the time to start get ahead of the curve because this is what's happening. And if you don't start, the earth will be push you to your limitations until you start yourself. And so really, really, guys, be love, be nice to one another, 
be in complete communication of love and kindness and compassion to one another and then you will see the world change around you for the better sending you so much love light and peace i'll speak to you very soon bye for now